So as you can see, the health bar will change based on how much health you have. So if you have like 50 health, it'll change like that. And if you have like 25, it'll change like that. And that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today in under five minutes. So the first thing I want to do here is we want to go over here to start GUI and add in a screen GUI. And then we're going to add in a frame inside of the screen GUI. And we can just call this like background because this is going to be sort of like the background of the health bar and i'm going to put my health bar down here just because i think that makes the most sense but you can put it wherever you want and we'll scale that up a little bit and then let's go down here to background color three and we'll just change this to like a, a nice little red color and then inside of background we want to add in another frame and this one it will be the health because this is gonna be like how much health you have. So like if you have 100 health, it'll be up here. If you have like 50 health, it'll be like right here in the middle. And so let's make the, I th I'm thinking like a nice greenish color for this, like, like that I think is good. And now we have sort of a health bar, right? But it does not look good at all. So what we do is we add in here a UI stroke. And what the UI stroke is, it, is it adds this little border around here, like this little black border. And then we wanna change the thickness of the UI stroke to like five or actually maybe eight. I think eight looks fine. And then we wanna add in here a UI corner. So it's right here. And then what this does is it just rounds the edge a little bit. So like if we set this to like 15, it's, so we see how it changes like the little border. Um, and then we wanna duplicate this. So um, shift click on both of them, do, do command D or control D and then put it underneath the health. And just like that, it will duplicate. And I think that the UI corner should be like 12, maybe. Um, I think 12 is a good is a good number. So now you can customize this however you want, but for now, I think this looks fine. So the next step is adding in the script. So we'll click on the plus here and make sure this is inside of the health frame. And we want to add in a local script. It's very important that you select the local script because otherwise this will not work. So let's rename this to like the health handler because um, this will handle all of the health bar. So this is the script that we're going to be using. You guys can uh, pause the video now and copy this down and then I will explain everything in the script and how it works. So the first thing is the player. It makes a variable for the player. And so the player is just the local player, like whoever whoever this local script is, is going to be. And so the player is this right here and then it gets the character. And so the character is this fine little fella right here. So the character, at least in the Explorer, is underneath workspace and it's like a physical, like it's a model, right? So it's, an, it's a physical thing. But the player is just like, if the player's in the game. So this is the player and this is the character. So the next thing this script does is it gets the humanoid. So the humanoid is this thing right here inside of like the player's character. And so this has all the stuff such as like, the health of this player so like if this is set to 50 you know it sort of changes the health of this um like walk speed if you want the guy to go really fast you'd like make this you know 50 and all of a sudden he walks really fast if you want to set that to like a lower number he walks slower and so what this does is when the humanoid so when the thing i just showed you when the health is changed it'll connect the function and it will pass a thing called damage. And then it gets the script.parent.size. So that would be this green bar right here. So that's the script.parent because hopefully if you guys follow the instructions, you put the script underneath the health and it will only work if it's if it's right here, right? So make sure it's right there. And then it gets, it, may, it changes like the size of it. So it gets damage divided by humanoid. So let's say the damage was 50, then it would divide 50 by the humanoid.max health, which is 100. And so it gets that, so that would be two. And so 50, it would go right here in the middle. You don't, you don't really have to understand what this means. It's kind of complicated. Um, so if we go ahead and play the game real quick, and there's our little dummy over there who I kind of murdered earlier. Um, we can just change the uh, health of this guy. So scroll down to the bottom and change it to like 50, and as you can see, it changed. If we set this to like 25, it went down to 25. If we change this to like 79 or something. Okay, I set that to 100, like 79. There we go. Um, it changed. So now we have a completely functional health bar that works. So that's incredible. And um, I hope you subscribe, like the video, and please comment what else you would like to know. So you have other tutorials that you would like to see, please comment them down below and goodbye.